Welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> we had a when I went to break. There was a couple of picks that came in. Uh, the uh, Baltimore Ravens took David Ojabo, linebacker, Michigan, and they got to be happy for that man because they have, they he had been wanting to get into the NFL for a long time, and now he is. He put up big numbers with Michigan, and uh, he's really going to be a, a, a big time contributor to the Ravens. And the Lions took uh, Josh Pascal, defensive end, Kentucky. And he put up a lot of big numbers for Kentucky, and he can really run the ball as well. And I think he will be a good addition to the Detroit Lions. Now the uh, Washington Commanders are back on the clock. And uh, uh, last night, uh, Washington did have a pick in the first round. They took... Uh, uh, Jahan Dotson, wide receiver, Penn State, and uh, I think that was the only pick they had because they traded up when that was the pick they had in the first round. So, so uh, now we'll see who they get. This is a second pick of the night, and as you know, the uh, they started uh, they signed Carson Wentz to. The new quarterback, I think the Canals are going to take a wide receiver guard or a guard either way. Uh, we'll see. And you know they signed quarterback Carson Wentz, as I mentioned. And uh, they also sent And uh, which the uh, Colts traded Carson Wentz inside Matt Ryan from the Falcons. But, uh, and uh, Alex, they traded quarterback Alex Smith, I think, to KC. I'm not sure. Or Arizona. I'm not sure which one. Check me if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, there's still a lot of quarterbacks on the board that are available and a lot of good players as well. And so that big question, uh, where is, when is uh, quarterback Malik Williams going to come off the board? Because there, there's still a lot of great quarterbacks on the board and uh, we're hoping one goes off of it tonight. Or a, or a few go off of it tonight. We'll see. And... Uh, <clears throat> Their defense allowed uh, 34 passes and and pass touchdowns allowed most of the NFL. And this is our 10th starting quarterback since 2018, most of the NFL as well. And I think they're going to go for a wide receiver guard, linebacker, uh, cornerback, or safety. Those are the pieces of the puzzle uh, that uh, I feel that they need and Mel of ESPN feels that they need too. And... Uh, And the pick is in for the Commanders. We're waiting for it to come up on the screen, and we're not even halfway through round. We're not even through round two yet. And now we're about to find out from Santana Moss, who was one of the Commanders' picks back in 2017. So let's listen in. And they have taken a Pedarian. Mathis. And he is a defensive tackle, Alabama. And I think uh, that was a good move for the uh, Commanders. And Mathis, he really performed well. He put up a lot of big numbers. He had 9.0 sacks, most among FBS a defensive tackle in, in 2021, and he really did. And, uh, and he can really run the ball and put up big numbers. He had 129 tackles, 16 uh, uh, total, uh, uh, total uh, fumbles and uh, losses and uh, – uh, 10.5 sacks, and so, and now the Chicago Bears are back on the clock, and they just had a pick, just, uh, they uh, had a pick, uh, pick 39, they took Kyler Gordon, uh, from, uh, <clears throat> and the Browns will be back on the clock with at pick number 124, I've just been told. 
So uh, we will see when they what they do with that one. So, uh, but a lot of a lot of surprise. Uh, they'll be back in the. They will be back on uh, pick number sixty-eight. Excuse me, and then uh, pick one hundred eight and twenty-four in the third. So we'll see what they do when they get back on the clock for pick six, number sixty-eight. But the uh, Bears are. You still need a lot of pieces of the puzzle. And I'm about to, find, to hear from Keith Norman. Keith, how are you, buddy? It seems to be, it seems to be some movement that's going on between the Browns and the Carolina Panthers. Hawks involving Baker Mayfield. Yes, I have heard that. And it's been speculated. There was maybe one of the reasons why Andrew Berry may have traded out to acquire more draft picks. That very well could be. Yes. And uh, the Browns will be back on the clock at pick number 68 is when they will be back on, just so you know. As it stands now, they have three picks in the third round. Yeah. 68, 78, and 99. Yeah. Now, Andrew Berry yeah, that's true. And the Bears pick selection has just come in. Let's listen in. And then it's uh, Jaquan Brisker, safety, Penn State, which I feel that is a good move, I feel. But... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right about that, Keith. I can agree with you wholeheartedly on that. And, uh... Yeah, and they did pick with pick number six last night, so I think they could trade Baker Mayfield either during or after the draft, and I think it's going to be after the draft. What about you? I think it may be during the draft. Do not be surprised if they make this trade tonight. Yeah, you're right, and I will not be surprised because anything can happen. So, because we've had this has been a very unpredictable draft so far, and I think you would agree with that. Yeah, Kenny Pickett, who is going to be playing for Pittsburgh. And but the big question is though, Keith, is that every I tell you, everybody's mind. When is quarterback Malik Willis going to go off the board? Yeah, that's true. And the Saints are back on the clock, so we're waiting for their pick to come in. So, so, so let's stay tuned to what happens uh, we may, uh, as far as Baker Mayfield because there seems to be some, some heated discussions between the Browns and the Carolina Panthers. Yes, there have, and there's been a lot of heated discussions because uh, Carolina is possibly interested in uh, Baker Mayfield. Okay, all right, I'll, then I'll talk to you later, Keith. And yes, and also the Seattle Seahawks could uh, possibly be interested in Baker Mayfield, so uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated on that. And uh, uh, the Saints are back on the clock. We're waiting for the pick to come in. And uh, they've had a few departures. They've re-signed quarterback Jamison Winston to a two-year deal. Worth $21 million guaranteed. And so I think they're going to take a quarterback. 
left tackle, guard, wide receiver, or safety either way. And so uh, we'll see. And there's just a lot of great quarterbacks uh, still on the board. Uh, and so and, and a lot of great players. And so uh, we're still waiting to see who is going to go off the board when a quarterback will be chosen or if a few will be tonight. So... So we'll wait to see, and uh, so we'll have to wait, and we're just trying to find out, and uh, and we're still not even halfway through round two yet. We're at pick forty nine, waiting for the Saints uh, pick to come in. So, but it's been another unpredictable draft. But the Seattle Seahawks could also possibly be interested in Baker Mayfield. So, so uh, well, keep keep an eye on that too. But a lot of talks between the Browns and the Panthers have really been going on right now, as my buddy Keith indicated. And the Browns could uh, uh, possibly trade Mayfield to Carolina. We'll see. But we will uh, keep you updated on this developing story uh, and uh, as the night goes along. Because it could happen during the draft tonight or tomorrow or... It could happen after the draft, so we shall see. And uh, we're, and the draft has come back in the air. We're waiting for the uh, Saints pick to come in. And uh, there's a lot of available quarterbacks on the board, as they, they've just mentioned. And, and as I said, everybody's wondering when Malik Willis will go off the board. The Saints pick is in. We're waiting for that to, to uh, come in. So... Uh, Hopefully, Roger Goodell is going to make his, or somebody's going to make their way to the stage, and we'll find out the pick uh, momentarily. But we know we want the right quarterbacks to go to the right teams, and and so and the right players to go to the right teams. So, uh, and I think this could be one of those one of those drafts where any quarterback could go with any team. And uh, and uh, there are nine teams have made uh, first uh, round picks, most common in draft era, and that's a draft fact that I just told you right there. But they do need to take some of the pressure off Jameson Winston, and they need somebody who can really help them out, and uh, and so. And they may choose a quarterback, and we'll see if they do. And hopefully, somebody. Uh, hopefully, we have a uh, somebody making their way to the stage because the pick is in. Their key departures are Sean Payton, Taryn uh, Armstead, Marcus Williams, and Trevor uh, Seaman. And uh, they do need someone to help out Jamison Winston. I think they're going to go for a quarterback, left tackle, guard, wide receiver, or a safety either way. But they do need someone to help out Jamison Winston, as I've mentioned. And so now we've got somebody coming to the stage. We're about to find out the Saints pick in this round, so let's listen in. And they have selected Alante Taylor. Uh, Alante Taylor, safety, Tennessee. And I think that was a good move for the, for the Saints because they need, they need that. And uh, uh, he put up a lot of big numbers with uh, Tennessee. And... Uh, And uh, I think he's really going to put up a lot of numbers with the New Orleans Saints. Had 162 tackles, four interceptions, 15 passes defended. He can really run the ball. When he gets the ball and holds on to it, hold on. If he gets left wide open, look out. He'll run it all the way for a touchdown. And he was 2022 recent senior ball participant. And he put big numbers up in that as well. The... Uh, we're at the 50th pick in the draft. The Kansas City Chiefs are back on the uh, clock. 
And with the three picks the Saints have had, they've had some great selection. And uh, last uh, night, the uh, Chiefs had a couple of picks last night. A few picks. Uh, I've got to look here on my sheet. They did trade one of them. They picked up the 30th. They took George Carlefes, defensive end, Purdue. And I think that was their only pick in round one, I believe. Yes, it was their only pick in round one. It was. So uh, we shall see who they will take with this one. But Patrick Mahomes does need some help. And with uh, 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 Tyreek Hill having been uh, dealt to Miami. And, uh, but, and I think... Uh, and so, uh, and George Pickens is still on the board where the Browns are targeting. Oh, the Chiefs have traded their pick, we have just found out. Uh, to the uh, New England Patriots. So that means the Patriots are back on the clock. And uh, I really think last year they took quarterback Matt Jones who put up big numbers with the Pats. They need a defensive tackle, I think. They did have some picks last night that they uh, took in the draft last night. They took with the 29th pick, Cole uh, Strangle, guard Chattanooga. And... Uh, I'm trying to look back to see if they did take another one. I don't think they did. They traded one of their picks. Yes. Uh, the Chiefs took uh, Trent McDuffie as well. I forgot about that. So they had two in the first round. But that was the Pat, the Pats. Uh, the Patriots only had that one pick. And right now, the pa Patriots pick is in. We're about to find that out uh, momentarily. So we should find out soon who the Patriots have taken. Oh, my God. I didn't realize. We'll be back right after this.